What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. My channel uploads videos every day that can help you get better at Madden uh, 22 and Madden 21. Uh, we're going to be posting videos every single day for the Madden 22 season. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get access to the latest tips and tricks in the community. Now, uh, I've been talking with you guys a little bit about the Gun Bunch out of the New England Patriots playbook. And uh, I've been really working through this Pat Sale concept. And so uh, I wanted to give you a little bit of a tip today that I think is going to be a little bit different. And um, the reason that I like doing this is because it's something unique out of Bunch that not a lot of people do. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're essentially going to run our Bunch to the short side of the field. So what I actually like to do is I actually like to flip into that uh, and just because it basically can create some mismatches for your opponent. Um, but it's in essence, this is what it's going to end up. So what I mean by flip to it um, is I like to be basically over here, like so. Um, so I would come out of my bunch flipped. And when I got to the line of scrimmage, then I would just simply flip to play just like this. And uh, what you're going to find out is that C routes to the short side of the field have been good for years in Madden. It's been a concept that we can use you know, year in and year out. So all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to hitch the R1 receiver, and then I'm going to streak the X, uh, the tight end, just like that, right at the seam. And then I'm just going to motion out this circle receiver. And what you're going to see with this C route um, is it's going to basically get over the top of that purple zone into a really soft spot on the defense. Now, the reason why I like to run this to the short side of the field, and we talked about this in a previous video, is because my Pat Sale post um, is so much better to the short side of the field. So uh, when you run it to the short side, so as you'll see right here, he's got all the space in the world to get open and look at all this grass that he can get to on this outside right there. I had bad throw by Brady, but the tight end is still going to serve as clearing out both of those zones. And it's just going to be, it's just going to be a lot more room to be able to fit this route in because it's very, um, it's, it's a lot less likely that he's going to stop running. Uh, one thing you can do, one little minor thing, is you can smart route the circle receiver. Uh, the big, or the, or not the circle receiver, I'm sorry. The, you can smart route him too, but the square receiver. And you'll see it'll just kind of make it a little bit more consistent. He won't stop. Uh, and as you can see, we can basically get that toe tap catch in over the cloud on the sideline. Uh, it just gives him more room to be able to run his route whenever you smart route it. Um, it, it gives it gives that, if you look at it, if you give that, it gives that, that second cut, that cross action, uh, it just gives it a lot more space. So you can do this short side C route in combination, uh, in combination with this post. And I think it's a really, really effective route combo. So as you can see right here, just get it over the cloud. And I threw it a little late there, but you can see the idea. So now, um, once we've figured that out, um, I wanna give you uh, another thing to think about as far as the C route goes real quick. We haven't discussed uh, man coverage with this yet. So let me just show you this is shaded underneath uh, Man coverage. I would probably honestly put you know someone that has an ability there um, But you'll see Brown should be good enough to just get him on the cut right outside just like that And as you can see it's an easy read um, It's really an easy route to hit against man-to-man. -man. Let me show you real quickly like a pressure um, So send six with shaded coverage up if they do something like that um, the beauty of this play is right on the cut as you can see it beats it every time so man coverage is not really a good option another defense that a lot of people will like to do um, specifically at a bunch would be basically essentially something like this um, so as you can see here we've got our flats on 30 so they're gonna drop back and if you just watch how the C route works I could basically low bowl that against man every time so it gives us a really consistent read against man um, on that right side and then really the left side is really good against man, but it's also really really good against zone as well so that's just I, I think this is honestly one of the best plays and I'm just I'm kind of surprised that no one really um, ran it this year it's just kind of interesting to me but anyway um, okay so let me try to get the defense back to where they're supposed to be uh, I don't know why this this safety is he's over here I don't know why he's over there um, but anyway, let's talk about the short side C route real quick against zone. So uh, a couple things that you can do. You can leave the C route in compressed. 
Um, basically, what that means is just don't motion him, uh, especially if you know if it's zone. And the reason why is because you'll see that these inside zones will really sit underneath it. Um, that seam flat is doing like a crazy match thing that I don't like necessarily. Um, but, you know, it, the one thing I do like about when you leave it compressed, it's not as good against man because I think he, I mean, he still is going to beat man, but he's not going to beat it as clean. Um, so if you do just like a, maybe just like one step motion, look at how it pulls, see how it pulls those zones inside like that. And you basically glitch them out to the short side. That's what I love about this play. So it's going to create in essence, a smash concept. And you're going to probably have both the hitch and the C route. You might not have the hitch because he's too far inside. If he was outside, just a, maybe a, a split outside, just a little bit more, um, then it would be good. But if you just watch, if I just motion, watch, watch the linebacker. See how they're going to be sucked in just like that? See how they suck in like that? And then that gives me a lot of room to be able to throw that C route on the outside. That's one of the beauties of this play. Now, just for the sake of the video, I want to talk through um, two other specific coverages that you will see with this. Um, and I haven't talked about them up until this point. Um, so the, the first one is going to be match defense. And the second one is going to be uh, cover two. So I'm just going to come out and cover four show two. Uh, but what I love about that C route, I just I think it just gets in such a soft spot against any, pretty much every coverage in the game. And if you really work on it, you will find yourself completing, you know, ten out of fifty or ten out of twelve every time uh, to this to this route. Now, as far as match goes, I'm just going to use the same combination I just showed you. But I just want to show you the C route against match. Um, basically, they convert. Watch, it's a conversion into man, but he now has outside leverage. It's different than a corner route. If I try to run a corner route against match, let me show you what that would look like uh, real quick. So if I just hot routed him to a corner route and I wanted to run basically the flood at a corner strike, watch this corner route right here is, I mean, it gets open, but it's hard. I mean, it's, it's not super clean. What I love about the C route is it has such a sharp cut that it's darn near impossible for them to be able to defend it. So you see, I, this C route is all day money every single time against them. And of course I say that, I throw a pick. It's, it's all day money every single time against the match as long as I don't put the tight end on a flat. Okay, so that was my mistake for saying that. So you'll see here when the tight end is stretching the defense vertical, that's what's going to, see how now we hold the zones and we isolate this thing. And that's kind of what I was trying to show you. Okay, so, so that's the beauty of this. Now, uh, let me just show you one last time match. And I just want to show you, like, let's say you want to run it like that. Um, kind of really underneath uh, version of it. You see, if you get him outside enough, he'll still beat it. But you have to, you really have to work at getting him, getting him outside um, on this. Because if you snap him inside the numbers or just, if you just motion him a click against match, um, he's going to get double teamed. But as you can see, how that, see how that guy goes to the double teaming. Um, but as you can see, the more you out, the more outside you get him, the better it's going to be. Now let's talk about cover, uh, cover two, uh, real quick. And cover two is an interesting defense against this play. Um, the post route is a good read against cover two, even if they do deep blue the middle guy. But let's talk about this right side real quick. So if I just snap hip kind of right here, uh, what you should see is you should be able to basically lowball this right there, uh, just like that. The other thing that you have going for you out of this specific formation, um, because the one thing that cover two adds for the defense, okay, the one thing that cover two adds for a defense is it allows them to have an outside leverage on this route because it's the outside corner is in the flat. So if I go with that additional concept, but look where he gets to. Look where the receiver gets to on the zone. He basically undercuts the cloud flat and is always able to get open. Now, this is something that's been in Madden for years. People have been running short side C routes against cover two for a really long time and having a ton of success against them. Um, let me show you one more time. So again, you're just gonna see, uh, I just kind of basically, I'm gonna low ball it right in front of that cloud, just like that. And as you can see, it gets in this real soft spot uh, of the cover two defense, which is why I like it so much. Now, if you want to make that spacing a little bit better, that's where I come back and say, streak that tight end, and then basically now you're going to completely isolate him, and it's a really hard, it's a, just a really hard play for the corner. Um, let me show you a soft squat real quick. So if I put that guy on, uh, as you can see there, a soft squat. Soft squats are, um, in my opinion, where you want to keep this, this underneath, um, but it's the basic, and of course I threw it late. It's basically the same concept. Um, you're gonna you're gonna isolate him. 
Now, side squats, I'm trying to think. I don't know that he'll com fully convert into man, uh, but we'll show you it real quick. So, soft squat, and then all I'm going to do is just that combination. And what you'll see it from the C route, C watch right there. Um, and I threw it a little bit too early, um, but there is a window to hit that. Okay. Now, obviously, if you're playing cover two, and you, you get a clean cover two read, you wouldn't call this play against cover two um, if you knew it was cover two. You can call it, and you can have success. Cover two is the defense that's built to kind of hang with this this these routes on the right side. If you knew it was cover two, what you would do is you would probably flip it back and then streak the outside bunch receiver and probably get a touchdown. But let me just show you this um, as if it were like this. Get him out. Now watch, we're just gonna wait, be patient, be patient, down and pass lead on the sideline. It's down and away. Um, I would low ball it if you can. The one thing I don't like about low balling it is it will um, bring the pass, it will actually bring the pass more inside than you would think. So, um, and cover two is where you wanna kinda really give this thing time to isolate on that side. So like right there, that's perfect. That's what we're looking for. And as you can see, the soft squat's not able to defend it. Obviously the hard flat's not gonna be able to defend that. You're just gonna throw it over the top of their head um, if they run a hard flat. Now, uh, let me just briefly hit on cover two Mabel because I think that you will see that. Um, so let me just put that linebacker in a purple zone and you should see the same thing. So. You see how he sits, sucks inside, sucks inside, sucks inside, and I still have this window to throw this ball. So they do have two people in the area, and they are really making an effort to kind of stop it. But because I've timed that motion snap and because I've passed that down and away, I have a lot of opportunity against that coverage. Um, so honestly, this play is, is borderline unguardable if you can understand how to throw the C route to get it open against any coverage. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to get in the lab on this and practice this, work on this before you run it in the game. Uh, make sure you understand the timing of the C route. I would personally put an ability on that 81 dead outside receiver if I'm in mutt. I'd probably put the, uh, I would probably, honestly, I'd probably put the short in elite on him because when he comes back inside, he's going to be inside the numbers. So that's what I would do. But thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the, the full playbook, the full New England playbook, um, you can get that down in the description. Um, I've broken it all down for you. So if you want to get a head start on Madden 22, that would be the, the playbook that I would recommend.